right, you guys. Hello, hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. It's me, Nadira, the totally obsessed nail fanatic from Muslima to Muslima. And I'm super excited because today I am going to finally do this battle of the water permeable or halal nail polishes. Super, super excited. I will do the test for the water permeability and I'll just go over a couple of different things comparing the two polishes. And definitely I would love for you guys to leave your comments down below and let me know which polish you think won this battle. So the two polishes that I'm going to be using today will first be this Inglot O2M Breathable Nail Enamel. And I have done a review on this polish. I'll put a clip or a link or something in this video, definitely in the down bar below as well. If you guys want to check out the review on this polish, I wore it for about a week and let you know how it lasts and, you know, like let you know what my general feelings about this polish were. Um, you know, showed the application and all that good stuff, but I have not tested it out as far as water permeability. Um, everyone, you know, it's a hot polish. Everyone's trying to get their hands on it. But the main thing with this one is um, the critique on it is that it only allows water vapor to get through. And if you're looking, you know, for a halal nail polish, then you definitely want, you know, the actual water to get through the polish. And if you'll notice here on the label, you know, it actually says O to M breathable nail enamel. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a big tell right there. I'm hoping that when I test it, some of the water goes through because I really do um, like this polish. They have a good variety of colors and, you know, application with this one. This is the only one I have, but the application um, with it was super smooth and easy. The other polish that I will be testing is this Tuesday in Love polish. Um, and if you'll notice on it, it does actually say water permeable nail polish, which is definitely going to be what you're looking for if you're looking for, you know, a halal polish. If you're just looking for a polish, you know, that's going to be better for your nails and things like that, you know, then breathable is perfectly okay. But if you want the water to actually get through, um, you know, because you want your voodoo to be valid and you want your salat, of course, to be valid, then you definitely want water permeable. So we'll see what happens when we test these polishes. I do also have this Tuesday in Love water-based top coat. I will be testing this as well to see how much, if any, of the water does get through. And they do say on their website that with when you add the you know top coat to it, that it does affect the permeability of it and it's not gonna be as permeable. So I'm gonna test it to see how much, if any, of the water gets through with the top coat on it as well. Just to give you guys a couple of specs on the polishes, this is the Inglot o to m Breathable Nail Enamel. I really do like this polish. It has, you know, really smooth and easy application. It lasted for a while. I didn't use a top coat on it, but it did last for a while. It chipped a little bit, but you know, you'd expect that from any polish. Definitely, like I said, make sure you check out the review for more information on it. Um, as far as cost, this tiny bottle is $14. Um, it does have a smell to it that is really strong like any other regular nail polish that you would get. And it does have just, you know, like a regular applicator here for the polish. I like the brush though and the polish does go on like really smooth and easy. But like I said, make sure you guys check out the review on that one. For this, the Tuesday in Love polish, I do have a full review coming on this polish. And I also have another color that I will be showing you guys as well in the review. So I'll wear the polish, you know, for the same time period, about a week see how it lasts, see how it lasts with the top coat on it. So definitely make sure you subscribe so you guys will be able to see that review. And once I have it posted, I'll put a link in this video for that. Um, this is the size that you get. It looks like you get a little bit more than you do with the Inglot. They do have a new bottle coming out. This is the current bottle, but they have a new bottle coming out. So you'll probably see a more um, circular bottle for this one. It is water permeable, inshallah, hopefully you'll test it and see. There is really, there's not much of a smell to this polish. When you open it, you might get like a slight smell, but nowhere near the smell that you get with the Inglot polish. All right, so as far as the brush, this is what you're gonna get. It's a little bit thicker um, than the Inglot polish. Pretty much, you know, the same type of brush though. So this is what you'll get as far as the brush with this one and the cost for this polish is about twelve dollars and i think 50 cents somewhere around there so that's a little bit of information on both of these polishes and now we'll get to the real reason that you guys are watching this video which is to see if these are water permeable so here we go all right guys so i have my paper towel here and i am just going to follow the instructions that come on the pamphlet that comes with the Tuesday in Love polish. It basically just says to paint, you know, one to two thin coats of polish on a paper towel. 
let it dry and then go ahead and put one to two drops of water in the center and the water should go through. You should be able to feel that it's wet on the other side and then it says it may even go through to the paper towel underneath. So I do have clean, fresh paper towel underneath to go ahead and test this with. For the water, I did mix some food color with my water. I wanted to use like a green color and I couldn't find the green. So I mixed blue and yellow together and got this like green colored water. I'm just using a little dropper from my daughter's medicine, but I'm hoping with the green water, it'll be easier to see, hopefully, um, whether or not this water is allowed to go through. So with that said, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more for you guys. There we go, that's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put, I'll probably use just like one drop in the center and we'll see what happens. Okay, there's one drop there. One drop there. And I should mention this one on the end is the Tuesday in Love with the top coat on it. So we'll see. All right, guys, now we wait. Give it about 30 to 60 seconds and we'll see what happens. All right, you guys, so it's been about a minute. Um, I let the polish sit on there. I did not touch it. The instructions say, you know, you don't even have to like spread it or push it through or anything like that. Um, this one, the Inglot did not budge. It's still sitting there in a little ball, not trying to move, not one bit. So you guys can see that. Tuesday in Love definitely looks like it went right through. It just kind of absorbed and went right through. This is the Tuesday in Love by itself in some of the water did kind of go, you know, seep through to the outside corners. This is the Tuesday in Love with the top coat on it. It does look like it may have seeped through a little bit, um, but definitely not as much as the Tuesday in Love by itself. I will go ahead and lift up the paper towel to see if there's any on the other side underneath. Okay, so it didn't seep through to the other side. They're still both dry here. But if you'll notice, you can see that it is, let me actually pull this closer. If you'll notice, you can see like right in the center here where I put the drop that you can see the green tint and you can definitely feel where it's wet and it went through. This one, eh, not so much, but definitely the Tuesday in Love by itself without the top coat, that definitely um, went through. Unfortunately, this one, not at all. <laughs> this is bone dry and just where I folded over all the water went up here. So this one, yes, the water definitely went through and went through to the other side. This one, a little bit, very tiny bit, but um, not as much as the Tuesday in Love by itself. So that concludes the water permeability test portion. So yeah, you guys, that concludes the battle of these two nail polishes, the Inglot Ota and Breathable Nail Enamel versus the Tuesday in Love Water Permeable. Definitely, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this answers any questions for those wondering if these polishes were actually, you know, permeable. I definitely have one in my mind that I think is the winner of this battle, but definitely, you guys, comment below and let me know what you think. Um, to me, it's pretty obvious, but you know, if you guys comment, let me know what you think as far as who would be the winner of this battle. I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up. If you did, feel free to share, tweet, Twitter. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely make sure you check out our other videos. Subscribe so you can see the full review for this polish, the Tuesday in Love, which will be out soon. And yeah, until our next video, guys. Assalamu alaikum. Peace.